Hey, so what's going on guys? May here with Drug the Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got a new product from Banks, this MagSafe wireless car charger. So it's very similar to the one that I reviewed from Pitaka, the Mac Easy Car Charger Pro. So I'll be removing my Mac Easy Car Charger Pro and actually using this for the next probably couple of weeks, days and testing out and see whether it is actually a worth it a competitor to the Mac Easy Car Charger Pro. So I've been using the Mac Easy Car Charger Pro for the last couple of months and it has been absolute pleasure to use and it has never failed me once. So you can see right here, this is what I use. And uh, honestly, that has been a really good product. In this video, I'm going to be just focusing on the Banks wireless car charger, the unboxing and showing you how to set it up. And once I've done the full testing, I'll be comparing it with the one from Pitaka. So let's turn the camera around and do an unboxing of the Banks MagSafe wireless car charger. All right, guys, so we have the box right here. So I haven't actually unwrapped it because I wanted to experience firsthand the unboxing experience with you guys. So we'll be cutting or using my nail to tear or open the seal. So let's uh, quickly unwrap it. Okay, so let's put the wrapper to the side. Let's take a look at the box itself. It comes in a pretty nice uh, package. Of course, you cannot compare it with the other big brands, but this is a very, very good improvement over the previous Banks products, which came in like very cheap plastic packaging. So this is a very nice step up. Okay, so you can see how it looks like on the top of the box. So you can see how the charger looks like. On the bottom, you can see the specs. So basically, uh, very self-explanatory car charger. So you can see right here, magnetic phone holder for car. This is, uh, I believe, MagSafe compatible, but not MagSafe certified. Of course, you're not going to be expecting too much when this costs half the price of the one coming from Pitaka. So yes, this costs around 170 ringgit, I guess, but the one from Pitaka costs 400 plus, more than 400 ringgit. So it's a very big difference. You can buy like probably two of these for just one of Pitaka's car charger. But uh, let's see how this holds up anyways. So you can see this is the Pro wireless charger. It comes with 15 watt max, so you'll be able to charge your brand new iPhones. And if you have invested in a Chabi magnetic ring, something like what I have here, uh, you're able to use this car charger even with your Samsung's or other wireless charging compatible devices. So if you're interested in the Chabi magnetic ring, I'll leave the link in the description below. All right, so let's uh, come back to the car charger. So basically it's the air vent mount. I'm not sure how many people like that, but I, I like the air vent mount better than the one with the suction cup. So you can see opening the box, you can see a tap open. So let's flip it open. All right, so we are greeted with, I bet this instruction manual. Yes, it's an instruction manual. So it shows you how to get it all set up. Okay, so you can see QC pass and put that to the side. Let's take out the car charger itself. Okay, so we will come back to this in a moment. Let's take a look at what else comes inside the box. Let me see if I can take this out. Do I need to? Or maybe I don't need to, yes. I believe I don't need to take that out because there's nothing inside. So in this small black box, you can see holder and the type C cable. So I'm using a type C to type C cable right now. I'm using a type C car charger, the one from Basis, and it works perfectly fine with the Pitaka and I'm sure it's gonna work perfectly fine with the one from Banks as well. All right, so um, important you get a USB PD car charger. I'm not sure whether they provide one. If they provide one in the box, that is a real win in my opinion. Um, do they, let me check it out. Okay, that's about it. Let's see what comes inside this starch bag right here. Okay, let me just quickly open it without tearing the back, hopefully. Okay, I guess I do have to tear it a bit. Okay, so what do we have? We have, uh, okay, no car charger as well. So I guess it's a theme going on right here. So we have the mount itself. You can see right here a ball mount, which is partially set up already. And then we have a uh, USB-C cable. So this is not the braided one like the one from Pitaka, but uh, it definitely works. And this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. So this works perfectly with all the latest cars, uh, at least from 2021 to onwards, I guess, 2022 cars as well. 
Uh, in fact, 2020 cars, uh, they do have USB-C to USB-C as well. Yeah, that's what you get in the packaging. Let's take a look at the car charger itself. So I'm actually pretty interested when they say they're going to send me one of these to actually check out. I was like, yeah, just send it to me. I would love to take it out for like a, a test run. So overall, the weight, yes, there is definitely a difference in the weight. But uh, overall, the construction feels really nice. Uh, I like the sort of a gunmetal color scheme right here. So this, of course, is removable because you do have to remove this to put in the ball mount. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what materials I use. So right here, very nice rubberish material, which would definitely hold your phone pretty well, I'm sure. Okay, let me just test it out right here. Wow, it actually grips really nicely. Okay, it's actually tearing out my mount. But anyways, uh, right here, we can see Banks branding. Um, there is some vents here. I'm not sure whether there's a fan. Uh, I believe it's just vents, not like the one from Pitaka where there's actually an active fan cooling the car charger itself. All right, so let's uh, get this ball fixed and then see where this leads us. Okay, so in order to fit it in, you just need to take out the ring and then assemble everything back together and you are good to go so basically that's how it's all set up so it's very simple and easy to set up let me see what this thing does so I bet this actually just uh, adjust the clamp yeah let me see yep it definitely adjusts the clamp let's see uh, how it goes oh it adjusts the the back red clamp right here you can see so it actually just pushes in so this thing is like a fixed position and then you just held in by this red clamp right here all right so let's uh move the camera over to my air vent and see how this fits on my sirocco air vent because this is actually pretty standard affair kind of air vent all right so let's move it there right now okay guys so let's put the car holder into the air vent so this is actually the tricky part to find the right spot so once you've done that you, all you need to do is actually twist this knob at the back and it will actually tighten the car charger okay let's uh, try to do this with one hand because if I put it too far you guys won't be able to see it okay so I'm getting some sort of grip right here let me see whether I'm doing that right yeah I am just get it fixed in so let's turn it slightly right all right so basically this is how it fits uh let me get the camera to adjust the exposure so basically this is how it fits on the back so this is also adjustable with this uh, small little knob so you can actually adjust it and basically to the angle that you want so now i've adjusted it to this angle okay let's get this cable plugged in all right guys so you can see we have got the usb-c cable plugged in let me start up the car okay uh let's see whether this charges and has the maxive animation so that's the most important part for me is the maxive animation which means it's charging at the optimal uh wattage okay so moment of truth see right here okay no apparently this does not have the massive animation but it does charge uh let's try that again one more time okay this is a bit of an issue because i'm actually using a waterproof case from lifeproof with the chubby ring so you can see right here it does not show the massive animation so that's kind of strange to me because the pitaka one on the right here actually shows that massive animation so yeah but uh, overall it charges and it holds the phone actually really really well it's very sturdy you can see right here it's not like going to be dropping anytime soon uh, especially if you use a MagSafe case a MagSafe certified case from Apple or from other third-party companies like Pitaka this is the mount that you must have in your car and I believe it is the best option compared to the one like the gravity mount the clam ones uh, I believe those are very flimsy as compared to the one something like this so this overall i think for the price wise is uh, honestly a very good option uh, if you're looking at a more budget friendly uh, magsafe wireless charger this would definitely do the job 
Okay, so I will leave the links in the description below if you're interested to pick one of these up. And also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.